Hello, and welcome to the Local Haunts channel. I'm your host, Steve Christian, and today we're going to talk about the top five paranormal movies as ranked by yours truly. I am the host and creator of the TV show Local Haunts, which you can watch right here on this channel. But today I'm going to do something a little bit different because I'm a huge movie buff. And if you're like me, if you like the paranormal, you probably like movies about the paranormal, right? Okay, so today we're going to talk about supernatural paranormal movies. Not horror movies, not slasher films. This is about the paranormal movies that are about the paranormal. Okay, so we, that's off the table. We understand what we're talking about. Okay, and how did I rank these movies? What what ranking system or what, what criteria did I have in ranking the top five movies? Well, let's talk about that. First of all, they need to be paranormally accurate uh, or close to it. No movie is 100% accurate. Uh, if you know anything about the paranormal, like such as me, you'd understand that there's just some common myths and misconceptions that every, every movie just gets wrong. And so, but taking that in mind, some movies are better than others as far as accuracy to what actually really happens with the paranormal. So that's important. So that was the top criteria. Uh, the second one is intelligent entertainment value. I, uh, I am an intelligent person and I enjoy cerebral activity. So I, I need to think a little bit. I like to be challenged when I watch a movie. I don't need shit blowing up every 30 seconds to hold my interest. I don't need bright, shiny objects and quick flash edits and all that kind of stuff to hold my attention. So I enjoy a cerebral movie. So intelligent entertainment value also ranks high for me. Production value. Uh, it, it must be well made. Good production value is important for a, a movie for me to rank it. And also scare factor okay now what scares me and what scares you might be completely different things first of all i don't scare easily uh, i intentionally go into dark places and look for things that go bump in the night that doesn't scare me actually the truth is people scare me more than ghosts do so uh, or earthbound spirits as we like to call them uh so keep in mind scare factor i'm not i'm not talking about jump scares all right that is just bullshit that that has been incorporated in movies over the past few decades and that's what they rely on now for their idea of scary uh did a cat jump out of a trash can and scare you that's not that's startling that's not scary okay so i'm talking about movies that scare you deep inside that bring up some sort of primal feelings in you that actually creep you out from the inside out that's what we're talking about not a slasher outside the window with a hockey mask on and a butcher knife that's just not what we're talking about scary all right internally scary okay so here we go my top five paranormal movies and here we go with number five now by the way i will put the links to all of these uh, on imdb imdb is a, a data movie base you can find online and if you have any questions about movies at all you can find it out there on imdb not a sponsor of this by any way. Uh, I just use IMDb a lot because I'm a movie buff and I want to find out things about movies and what's coming up and whatnot, who's in it, when it was made, things like that. So if you ever haven't been to imdb.com, check it out. It's a fantastic website. Okay, so I'm going to put the link to all five movies in the description of this video to where you can find out about the movie. You can find out where you can watch the movie or buy the movie and find out, you know, just all kinds of things about the movie trivia, all kinds of fantastic stuff. Incredible database. All right, here we go. Top five, The Changeling. This movie was made in 1980, and it is a very creepy, uh, very closely uh, accurate movie. And it's the, the first movie I ever saw that incorporated EVPs, electronic voice phenomenon. So the movie was actually kind of cutting edge in 1980, it stars George C. Scott. Uh, it's very well written. And the house they use in this movie is freaking fantastic. First of all, the house is in pretty much all these movies I'm going to list. I would love to live in. I just love big, creepy houses. And uh, the, the one in uh, The Changeling is top notch. It's a fantastic movie. Not completely paranormally accurate. However, it's still a very good movie. And I highly recommend it. The Changeling from 1980. George C. Scott. Now, you'll notice a, uh, a lot of these movies are going to be older because, in my opinion, that's when they knew how to make movies that creeped you out and scared you and made you think instead of just jump scare shit. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of modern paranormal movies because they're just, they're, they're in my opinion, well, 
Crap. Okay, so number four on my list, The Ghost and Mrs. Muir. This is not so much a scary movie. It's it's kind of a romantic uh, drama that in, is about a ghost haunting a house and uh, the relationship that develops between him and the new tenant, Mrs. Muir, in the house. It's a fantastic movie. The movie score is incredible by Bernard Herrmann, a fantastic score. This movie was made in 1947. There was actually a TV series based on this movie that came out, I believe, in the 1960s. I don't really know much about the TV series. I didn't watch it. However, the movie, 1947, also stars a very young Natalie Wood. Uh, you, You might know her from the movie Miracle on 34th Street, The Little Girl. Well, she was a little girl in Ghost of Mrs. Muir as well. I think that was actually came out right after the Miracle on 34th Street. She was about the same age. Great movie. Fantastic. And Jean Tyranny, gorgeous. You got to love her. And Rex Harrison. I mean, come on. The guy's awesome. Okay, number three on my list of top five paranormal movies is The Others. Now, this movie was actually produced by... Tom Cruise, uh, his wife, Nicole Kidman, stars in it. Tom Cruise is not in the movie. He was behind the scenes on this movie. However, this movie is stellar. Very good. Very paranormally accurate. Uh, just great creep value and has a nice twist to it. And it's actually uh, it gives you a good insight on what it's like to be earthbound, to be an earthbound spirit. Uh, so it's a it's a very good movie. I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, top notch. Number three, The Others. Okay, now let's get on the number two. This one takes you way back to 1944 during World War II. This movie came out, The Uninvited. Not the remake in, 19, in 2009, which is frankly a piece of crap. Uh, but this movie, 1944 was for the longest time my all-time favorite paranormal movie. It just It's very creepy. I love the house in this movie. Uh, it's on a cliff in England. It's, it's just got a great creepy vibe to it. It's a great story. The effects are really good, even though it's 1944. Effects are really good. Uh, I, was, I was scared by this movie as a kid the first time I saw it. Uh, very good movie. Uh, if you check it out, uh, the link will be in the description for where you can find out about this movie and possibly where you can buy it or stream it. I don't think it's available on any streaming networks at the timing of this recording, but however, you can buy it on Amazon or you might be able to find uh, the DVD somewhere. But I know you can buy it on Amazon. Okay, number one, paranormal movie, The Sixth Sense. Now, this movie put M. Night Shyamalan on the map it was one of his first movies, and it is stellar. It is a fantastic movie, known for its fantastic twist ending, uh, but it's so paranormally accurate, except for one thing, which I'll talk about after, and that's the one thing that, frankly, every paranormal movie gets wrong, and that is cold spots. Uh, people have been told and conditioned over the years that if you feel a cold spot, it's a ghost, a ghost. It's not. Uh, we have invited many people along on paranormal investigations for local haunts. And with the help of uh, Pamela Teresa, uh, the spiritual medium, who is my partner, she can see and hear just like the little kid in the sixth sense. She sees dead people and she knows where they are. And when you feel them, because you can feel them, they actually feel warm and tingly. They're not cold. Uh, if you feel a cold spot, you're actually in uh, very good company. That's like angels. Okay. So the higher the vibration you are, the colder you are. But however, if you're earthbound, you kind of warm and tingly. So uh, every movie gets that wrong. I've never seen that gotten right in any movie ever, ever. So that needs to be changed. Uh, and we're trying to change perceptions and, uh, and bring real understanding to the paranormal. And I saw this movie with Pamela Teresa, my partner. Uh, she's, like I said, she's a, a true spiritual medium. She sees and hears Dead people just like you see and hear me talking right now. That's the way she was born. She's always been that way. Plus, it didn't help that she doesn't hurt, I should say, that she died twice. Uh, she actually died when she was a child, and then she died when she was a teenager in a car accident. Uh, so she's been there and back again twice and came back with her superpowers boosted, you might say. So uh, I thought it'd be interesting to watch The Sixth Sense with her because she actually avoids scary movies or paranormal movies her whole life, she always, because her, her life is basically a scary movie. Uh, so when she watched it, she was like, wow, that's what it's like. Uh, she was that kid. Uh, 
she was Haley Joel Osment in the movie. Uh, she saw and, and heard uh, the ghosts that, that are around. Plus, she also sees heavenly transition spirits, not just uh, earthbound. However, it's fascinating to watch a movie like that, which is about mediumship, actually, uh, with a true medium. <laughs> so it's a... It, M. Night Shyamalan, it was so insightful when he, he when he wrote this movie and directed it. Got a lot right, got a lot right. Uh, and it's, it was just such a, a different movie. And that's why his whole career was launched. So I hope you enjoyed my top five paranormal movies. I'll do more. I'm going to do the top five paranormal TV series. And I'm going to do my favorite horror movies coming up. So be sure to give this movie a thumbs up. Enjoy it. Thank you so much for, for watching. And we'll see you next time.